Hey everybody, today I'm going to review Cobalt's brand new quick load screwdrivers. Now they have three different styles of these and I actually saw them tonight for the first time at my local Lowe's because I was in there looking for a standard precision screwdriver set. I picked this up and compared it to some other brands and it felt really solid and really well built. Now when I looked over I saw two standard versions, a non-ratcheting as well as a ratcheting version, so I just went ahead and picked up all three of them. Now overall I think the quality is great. They come in anywhere from $10 to $12 a piece and they come with a bunch of different bits. Now the unique thing about this is going to be that quick lock mechanism. It can work with any standard quarter inch hex bit or 5 30 seconds inch precision bit and it doesn't have any slop. So what I want to do in this video is give you some closer up looks at these. We'll see exactly how they operate and then we're going to see how they actually perform. Here's a closer look at all three versions and you can see we have a precision screwdriver, a non-ratcheting, and then a ratcheting version. The lengths are going to be different with the ratcheting coming in at just under 7 inches long. The non-ratcheting is coming in at just under 6 inches long and then the precision is coming in at just under 5 inches long. Now also keep in mind that the ratcheting and non-ratcheting are using standard quarter inch hex bits where the precision is using the smaller 5 30 seconds inch hex bits. Taking a closer look at those bit sizes, you can see for yourself just how much smaller the precision bits are than the standard quarter inch hex bits. Keep in mind that this chuck will work with all quarter inch hex bits. So whether you have a double ended bit like this, that can be easily installed and removed. And then if you have a grooved in like this one, that can also be installed, it's going to lock in place and not move around. And then finally, even if you have the straight version like this with no indentations, that's going to slide in place and also be able to be used. So it really is a universal fit for any of these and no matter what bit you have, they will work along with the handle. An alternative, of course, would be to use a magnetic bit driver. This also accepts standard quarter inch hex bits. So whether you have a groove version like this, it will slide in place. It will have some movement, but not really a lot. And then if you use a straight version, it will also slide in place. Now you cannot use these with a double-ended version because they're just going to move around, nothing's going to lock in place, and it just wouldn't be functional. Now the big thing to keep in mind if you are looking at something like this is that retention. And with the Cobalt, it's excellent and it does not let go. To prove how strong the mechanism actually is and what kind of retention it has, I've taken that straight hex bit that does not have any grooves or indentations. I've fed a wire through it and around two 15 pound weights. We'll go ahead and just slide it in place and then watch me pick this up off the ground. This is holding 30 pounds of steel off the ground. It's not letting go and it's locked onto that bit. When I set it back down, we can just pull the collar back and easily remove it. When we compare that to the holding power on a magnetic bit driver, you'll see the massive difference. So rather than use the two 15 pound weights, I put that same bit attached to a standard impact socket. This weighs almost nothing in comparison to those. We'll line it up, slide it into place, and then when the weight is released, you can see it's going to fall right out. The precision screwdriver will come with the handle, one small double ended bit and then seven long double ended bits. These are a wide range of sizes and they include a bit holder to keep everything together. The precision screwdriver really doubles as a hex key because what you want to keep in mind with these very small bits, they're very narrow from one end to the other. So if you slide this in place, you're going to have a lot of room to work with. And in this case, here's a T8 star bit. If we look at a T8 regular bit, which would use a quarter inch hex bit inside of a bit socket. You can see you don't have nearly the amount of room to work with because this is much wider. When we slide that on a handle, you can see it's very wide. It could not fit in a narrow hole like the standard precision version could. The non-ratcheting quarter inch hex version will come with the handle, one small double ended bit, and six long double ended bits. Something else you may be considering is a standard 6-in-1 or even a 10-in-1 screwdriver. Now with these, they have multiple bit sizes. What you'll do is flip it over. You can go from flat to Phillips or even other varieties depending on the brand you go with. They'll lock in place and this replaces the need for multiple screwdrivers. Now one thing to note if you are looking at something like this, the bit sizes are special 
you will have to go to the manufacturer to get these replaced if they ever break on you because they are held in with a little ball detent and they are not a standard quarter inch hex bit like you'll find at the store. To show you exactly what I mean by that, here's a quarter inch hex bit. We'll line it up with the end and you can see it's extremely loose, there's no retention, and that's because the hole is a different size than the bit. If we take that same quarter inch hex bit, line it up with the cobalt, it's going to slide right in place and be locked in and ready to go. And finally, the ratcheting quarter inch version will come with the ratcheting handle, one small double ended bit, and five long double ended bits. The ratcheting mechanism will work exactly the same way. You'll slide the bit in place, and then you can rotate it one direction, or take the collar, click it one click, it's going to be locked. You click it another click, it will rotate in the opposite direction. And if you notice, this has very fine teeth, and in one rotation it has 72 positions. If you pick up one of the quarter inch hex versions, they're going to be compatible with all ranges of quarter inch hex bits, and you're not stuck using the ones that came in the kit. Now in this case I have a set of standard and metric nut drivers. These are using a standard quarter inch hex shank. They're going to slide right in place. And that means that along with this, the handle can replace the need for having two different sets of nut drivers filling up space in your toolbox. Each of the handles is going to be hollow for bit storage, with the two quarter inch hex versions having screw caps, and then the small version just having a little pop off lid. So we can just pop that off, you can see it is hollow inside. You would line it back up and click it into place. And this, because it is a precision screwdriver, will allow you to hold it steady while you still turn it. That's why they didn't put a screw cap on this, and it is a good design. Now with the other ones, I do have one small complaint, and that's because these caps could eventually get lost, because it's just plastic on plastic and there's really no retention there. One upgrade that you can do is to add an O-ring. And that's going to give you excellent retention, and that cap's never going to fly off. If you decide to go that route, then just pick up a standard O-ring, slip it right over the threads, and then when you put the cap on, it's going to force the O-ring against the body, connecting the two, and it's going to keep pressure on the cap, preventing it from backing off. Then when you want to remove it, it's as simple as just rotating it counterclockwise. The O-ring is going to stay in place, and it will prevent the cap from accidentally being lost. Lastly, you do want to keep in mind that bit storage will work for aftermarket bits or the ones that came initially in it. However, the very long ones that come along with the kit that's already in the bit holder are just too long to fit in the storage area. So with the long version, you can see we could never get the cap on. And then even with the precision version, the cap is not going to go on that. So in order to carry these around, you must use the included bit holder because they cannot be stored inside the handle. So, now you've seen Cobalt's brand new quick load screwdrivers for yourself. And like I showed you in those clips, the mechanism on this is nice and tight. Installing and removing bits literally takes about a second. And because it is a universal fit with quarter inch hex bits or precision bits, it means that what you already have at your house will work along with these. Now keep in mind, you could go out and buy a multi-pack of screwdrivers and get 30 or 50 of them, taking up an entire drawer in your toolbox. Or you can get this one handle along with different bits and do the same exact thing. Now you do want to keep in mind if you're looking at a screwdriver like this, typically when you look at a higher end unit, it's going to be nice and tight. And then when you look at a lower priced unit, it's very sloppy. Now that's not the case with these and in my opinion, they meet the quality of some very high end units at a very low end price. They're coming in between $10 and $12 a piece. And because they are a cobalt tool, which is sold at Lowe's, they're going to have a lifetime no hassle guarantee. If they ever break on you, just bring it back to the store and they're going to exchange it for you free of charge. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe. And thanks for watching.